People are turning into cannibals. With Wendigo psychosis, a new scientific paper suggests that cannibalistic urges may be triggered by more subtle factors rather than some form of madness. Recalling the example of Wendigo psychosis, which spread among certain indigenous communities of America, researchers note that cultural conditioning, upbringing and other influences can sometimes lead to a hunger for human flesh, a mysterious syndrome. Wendigo psychosis is a culture-bound and enigmatic syndrome based on the morphologies of Algonquian-speaking tribes, especially those living in the northern regions of North America. Among these tribes, it is believed that a person who eats human flesh turns into a Wendigo. He conveyed the details of the article published in the independent Turkish academic journal Curious. This phenomenon is characterized by the overwhelming belief and delusion that individuals can transform into Wendigos. Evil spirits with an insatiable desire for a human flesh, it states. In mythology, the Wendigo is believed to have eyes of fire and a heart made of ice. The creature is also depicted as a tall, gaunt figure that emits the odor of rotting flesh. People suffering from Wendigo psychosis begin to believe that they are possessed by these figures. This increases paranoia, causing these people to choose victims and have violent hallucinations about this. This situation is explained in the research article as follows, over time. These people may see others, even close family members, as potential prey. There may be an alarming change in their perception. It is thought that once human flesh is consumed, the transformation into Wendigo will be complete and irreversible. The authors add, although cases of this disorder are rare, there are historical records going back 300 years, including one person who killed an 80s relatives during a famine in 1786. On the other hand, such delusions are perceived as pure madness. However, researchers believe that Wendigo psychosis may be a culturally relevant psychological defense, mechanism originating from Algonquin mythology because these tribes of Canadian origin were no strangers to brutal winters marked by famine and hunger. According to researchers, cannibalism may have become necessary in such times, and the existence of the Wendigo myth may have been a tool for a person to accept these acts that would normally be unspeakable. Cannibalism may become a survival strategy in times of famine. When the belief in transforming into Wendigo serves as an outlet for expressing inner distress, the article states. Analyzing the psychological function of the legend, the team says, while the Wendigo's insatiable appetite reflects the desperation that occurs in the midst of famine, their transformation into monsters reveals the risk of losing one's humanity in difficult situations, who are Algonquines, in the 17th century. The French who came to the region gave this name to the Algonquins, who lived independently of each other in what is today the Canadian province of Quebec. The Algonquins, who made their living as gatherers, supported the French against the Iroquois, another indigenous group, in their efforts to settle in Canada and take over the fur trade in the eastern interior of North America. However, due to the war, they had to leave their villages and hunting grounds over time. Some settled in the Lake Huron region in the west, while others moved north and east, leaving the Iroquois battlefields. Some of them later returned to the French colony, particularly in Ontario and Quebec, since about 2,000 people, considered descendants of the Algonquins, live on the shores of Lawrence Ottawa, 